This is a Calgos refugee camp, uh, currently home to 17,000 refugees in the Kurdish region of northern Iraq. People started arriving here uh, about two weeks ago uh, and the camp has been developed post-arrival, so camp development is ongoing around them. NRC are here assisting with emergency sanitation. We're testing water to make sure that people have a clean water supply. We're developing water points that you can see behind me uh, so that people have access to sufficient clean water. Uh, we're mobilizing uh, communities uh, with uh, sanitation projects. That's uh, keeping the camp clean. Uh, we have uh, garbage collectors. And generally through a, a process of development, we hope to take the camp from where it is now, which is very temporary and emergency in nature, through to something that uh, meets humanitarian standards and is more suitable for longer term use. As you see people now it's the, uh, are filling water. This is the first gravity fed tap stand uh, and along with more to come on the way. We've just been working here for a week and we've installed two uh, 45T Oxfam uh, tanks at the top of the hills. Hopefully we'll increase uh, the supply. People seem they're very happy. They've been waiting for this moment because now women have less distances to travel. Children can easily have access uh, to water. Uh, the team that's been helping us is all from the camp. Uh, they've been excellent, very dedicated, because they know this is for them and for their own people. This is one of 13 new camps that have been opened in recent weeks. And we anticipate that the number of arrivals will exceed 100,000 refugees from Syria over the next month. The humanitarian community and the local authorities are mobilizing to provide assistance to a large number of refugees, but resources are extremely limited. NRC will assist in building the capacity of the local ministries and local authorities and deliver direct in-kind assistance to refugee populations.